Hi guys, so today I have a card making tutorial to share. It's inspired by something I've seen on Instagram by Jack's Craft 2. I've had a little bit of a go, a little mock up just to check I can do it before I share how to do it with you guys. So basically, it's going to open up like this. So to make this card, I'm going to use the Dovecraft Kiss and Makeup Collection designed by Kendra Dandy. So here's a sheet of pink textured cardstock from the um, first edition textured cardstock pad. We're just going to fold the card in half along each length. You could measure it if you're going to be really precise, but so you should just do it by eye. And just get your ruler straight along. Open it out again and do the same the other way. So now we just have to fold corner to corner and make sure the fold goes into the very corner of this and then straight down. So line the corners up and then fold right in the corner and then smooth. And there, card, open up. Right, so next just put this to one side. The corner's a bit wonky, uh, but I don't really care. <laughs> right, so we're going to decorate um, these inside triangles first. So what we need to do is measure. Come on. <laughs> 14 centimetre squares. And across. Then the diagonal. Okay, so I've cut these out now. Um, then we're just going to stick them in these corner bits. Um, the card's going to sort of sit this way on, so if you have elements that need to be vertical, such as these, make sure they're not upside down when you stick them down, otherwise it might be a bit weird. <laughs> okay, so I've now stuck all these bits on. Um, yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm sorry if you can hear random things outside. It's very humid today. Okay, so I think the next thing is to cover this bit and this bit. So I've chosen to use these two sheets of paper um, for the top and bottom. I'm not sure which way around yet. But I love the pattern on this and I like these lips. I like that it says hey, it's very modern, cool. Um, so we're going to cut these to 14 by 14 centimetres. So 
so we've got these papers stuck on now and the next step is to grab a except I've lost it compost you could use pokey tool um hole punch if you have a smaller one um but I pretty much swear by this so just a few about a couple of centimeters in just make a hole and then a hole in the top I may have to put something else in there to make them a little bigger um, but I don't really have a small hole punch so I'll have to do I have die cut some bunting um, from my scraps using these uh, first edition bunting dies I've just used a, a larger pennant and a um, triangle bunting with um, scalped edges uh, I'm not sure how many I need so I've just kind of made a few and I'm going to need some twine so I'm going to use this twine um, it's got a kind of copper tinsel effect to it which I do love a bit of sparkle I'm um, just not sure if I can get it through these holes ok this might help So I just need to stick these along here. Okay, so off camera I'll just kind of shorten this a bit. Um, just so it wasn't droopy. Um, I made the mistake of flipping this on for a bit. That was a bit stupid. <laughs> pretty cool and I think the weight of it kind of helps the card stand up too. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay so now the bunting's done um, I'm going to stamp happy birthday in the middle of this. Um, I'm not sure I was gonna put it on a, a bit of white card stock but um, I don't know I think it's I think the font's bold enough for it to stand out without um, without having to mess around with white card stock that I'll probably smudge with the blacking anyway. <laughs> I like this stamp because it's really big and the font kind of looks like it's been hand drawn. So if I just kind of line that up with corners and stamp it down. Please work, please work, please work. It worked. Yes. Yes, it worked. Um, I'm feeling like I want to add a little more of this around here just to kind of make it stand out a little more. And then I want to use some of these um, dimensional stickers. So perhaps this. Cool. 
maybe hearts here. Oh, we can have way. Oh, that was cool. And then we'll just have a love heart here. And another one over here. I feel like that back build is lacking a little. Put one of these tags with something on. have this tag and perhaps a little strip of ribbon across the bottom. Actually I've just made this little tag and I'm just going to stick this lip brad. How cool is that? It's awesome. Uh, in the centre and I think I just want to stick that along there. So I think this inside is pretty much done. Uh, so now we need to cover the cover. I might have got a bit carried away stamping because I was watching uh, Mercy Tiara on YouTube. Uh, I've just paused it for the minute um, so I can show you what I've, so I don't do any more. So um, in pattern paper I've cut out a 14.5 centimeter square and layered a 14 centimeter square on top of it. So this is going to sit on here. I toyed with having the pattern paper mounted onto white cardstock um, but with the plain pink background it just looked a bit boring so I uh, just picked out this uh, polka dot background instead. Um, I've stamped just for you onto a darker circle. Luckily it just fitted. Um, I was worried that I didn't have a darker circle big enough but uh, it just fits. Um, I'm just going to go around that with a fine liner because I don't know it just looks a bit plain left-handed problems, I don't want to smudge it, uh, this is awkward. <laughs> this has been a problem my entire life. <laughs> oh my god. I should probably just leave that for a moment. <laughs> I'll stick this on in the meantime. Okay, um, while I'm doing this, um, I've put the bunting outside the card so it doesn't get um, creased, bent, whatever. Right, I'll give this another go. I mean, I have used a quick drying. I use this ink and it's pretty good. Uh, I think it's waterproof as well, so it's great to use with watercolour. Um, but I really don't trust myself with these. If I do, it's kind of sketchy. go and hmm I think we'll have this beautiful sticker I love clear stickers where's this gonna fit though we can have the can have the lipstick there um I kind of like these eyes, so we'll have those. And come on, come on, and a little makeup brush there. Yay! I am liking that. I'm liking that a lot. Let's get that stuck down. 
I think we'll have some hearts going around here. Okay, I'm debating whether to do more to that, but I'm actually quite happy with it as it is. And then I'll just open it, and there we have a card. So let me know if you have a go at this. Um, if you have a go, leave a link to your blog, and I'll come check it out. Um, yeah, this is actually quite easy. I'm not, I'm not really a card maker myself, but um, I do dabble in it every now and then. I do like something a bit different, which is why I had to go with this, and I absolutely love it. Thanks for watching. Bye!